G'day guys. I'm so stoked to uh, to be able to pull this one together for you guys. Um, look, it's been pretty full on work-wise and I haven't been able to get away as much as I want. But look, I've made my, made my way back to some of my favorite country and that's up in the Pilbara. And I'm up near Newman at the moment. Uh, to the west of me, you've got the Hammersley Range and and that includes uh, your very, very famous Karajini National Park, which is absolutely stunning. Um, but I'm just east of there, and I'm kind of roaming where, I guess, where Hammersley and Hancock Ranges into, start to intertwine. So I'm focused more on the, the Hancock area, and, uh, and my God, look at this place. like so insane um, so you've got you've got a lot of gorges around here a little bit lesser known uh, I mean they're pretty known but a little bit more hard work to get to and um, and definitely a lot rougher tracks uh, I wouldn't advise towing anything into a lot of these places so you've got you know Calgans Calgans Gorge and you've got uh, Cathedral not too far away from here um, Eagle Rock and a few others um, but I'm looking for the ones that aren't listed and uh, and don't exactly have a track to them. A track might go near them, um, but at the same time, I'm not even sure if there's water there. Uh, on my Google Maps, it just looks like a shadow, but it looks like enough of a ridge uh, cut between um, a valley that it just might have a little private pool. So this track I found myself on is pretty rough and uh, rutted out and slow going and it's just all slate rock. So look, first things first, <laughs> if you find this track that I'm on, don't tow anything down it because it'll be whatever you're towing, it'll be its last bloody trip. Um, and, uh, and just lower your tires and go slowly because um, can easily come unstuck here and uh, and some of the hills are pretty steep so you can slide easily as well so steady steady we'll get there eventually and hopefully it's worth our while <laughs> How beautiful is this little spot? Shout the crocodile's back. Took us a while to get in here, but you rock up to a little spot like this. You can see where the water level normally is around there. And you've got a bit of a waterfall that would happen in a big downpour. That'd be bloody awesome to see.
My name is Wilfred, an elder of my mob. One of my lives out country. We've been so I've had a fair bit of rain um, over the last week up here, but as you can see, it's still not enough to get water levels back up to where they are, where they sit during the wet season. Um, top of that dark line that runs all the way around, which is you know another 10 to 12 feet higher than me, which is insane to think how much water will sit in here and how much water uh, the Pilbara actually does get despite being at such a desert kind of arid area. Oh, that's pretty fresh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Tell you what, there's nothing like finding some water in the desert. Oh, all the wildlife come around. You know, you see little rock wallabies, heaps of bird life in the morning. Lizards, snakes, you got fish in here. It really does provide an oasis in the desert. Back to country, every woman, child, and man. If I remember rightly, we crossed yeah, jump ups to the plains, oh. we skirted through the valleys, yeah, and we drank wet season rains through Pandanus and Cyprus and Liverstone, your palms. The country was healing. Wonder now looking after us. To kill the language. To stop our song. Corrupted our culture. We had the right, what had been wrong? Pastoralists and pastors, and pioneers the same, the raisers of an ancient way, a change in Christian name. Wipe away the ochre, Point fingertips of shame. No way that we could protest. Suppressing all our rage. Well, I battle against the miners. White man's greed, a constant curse. A battle loss of song lines. So I taught the young youth first. Never want to leave this place. So, so special. The last of the little swallows kind of circling around above me right now. And then any minute now, the bats are going to start coming out. And I had bats kind of swooping just above me last night. Now what I've just found here absolutely blows my mind. Um, I was down on the water's edge throwing sticks of buckley and a bit of rock caught my eye because this rock has clearly been used to sharpen an instrument, a tool, a weapon, a fishing hook. And as soon as I picked it up, I felt how perfect of a rock it is to hold and sharpen something. And let's see if you guys can see this. Don't know if you can see these these engravings, this line, it's just been repetitively uh, used and, and sharpened in one direction. 
just blows my mind. Who knows how many thousands, hundreds or thousands of years ago, this was used by who, what they were doing, where they were off to. Liquid bloody gold. So it should be interesting getting out of here. So I've had been having like, no, yeah, mini nightmares. <laughs> you know, it was a tough track when you think about how you're gonna get back out. And just like little thoughts where my brain will kind of trail off and all I'll think about is those two or three points on the track. But worst case scenario, I can just bloody, there's enough rocks around you can fill in or half fill in some of those washouts. Make it a little bit easier and less hectic. See how quickly um, the weather moves in up in the desert. Blue sunny skies like about 40 minutes ago, and now we've got like storm clouds looming. And uh, I think I'm just about to come into some reception, so it'd be good to good to check out what's going on on the weather front and um, just where is going to be a good place to be if it does absolutely bucket down. Like to be near, you know, a, a potential waterfall or somewhere, somewhere where we can get that real harness that um, that rainfall that runs down through the uh, through the desert and uh, into the valleys. So after checking the couple of gorges, I mean, look. It was about a three and a half hour drive to get in here today, off the bitumen. And I had a lot of hope for a couple of the gorges that we visited, but unfortunately both were pretty, um, were, they were definitely lacking in water. Uh, you know, we are on the tail end of summer and um, there only has been a couple of storms up here, but they're few and far between as well. So there's a lot of time for that water to wash away, reside and, um, and soak into the ground. So we've, uh, we've found ourselves a uh, little camp on a hill here. And look, it's got an insane, insane vista. 
Uh, we're not too far off the uh, the little gravel track, but um, I'm just happy to pull up. That was a big day from getting out of that other gorge, airing up, getting new stock, and then heading um, out this side, which is you know to get here you have to go all the way around the other side of Newman and um, and go explore through some of the back tracks there. But here we are. How good we made it. I think I'll, I'll sleep pretty well tonight. Now at the end of the day, I'm, I'm so stoked to, to be out here in the Pilbara and to have desert country like this and no one around, like I'm, I'm talking. I saw this track that I'm on now, a bulldozer looks like it's been on it about six months ago and there's one set of tire tracks since then. So, you know, there's just, there's no one out here. There's a lot of country out here, a lot of tracks. A lot of kind of like drilling uh, exploration tracks as well um, and no doubt anyone could find just like a little spot like this on a hill somewhere um, but you know while you're out here you really want to find water and find those water holes and those pools and, and that's what we're after today but unfortunately just hasn't quite been enough rain I'm always fascinated when I see little caves in the landscape. I gotta kind of pull over and hike up and check them out. Because generally there's gonna be animals or bats or reptiles that all live in there. of an old beehive here. I've just had my mind officially blown. Have a look at this joint. This little micro environment right here of paper barks and you got your bull rush and it's just literally sitting here in that case it's literally just sitting here in between the two waterfalls so there's that waterfall here and then 30 40 meters that way there's another one that's uh, probably triple the size and that drops right down into a little kind of circular pool find any history on Eagle Rock or Eagle Rock Falls um, when it was named who named it when it was discovered by white fellas uh, obviously Aboriginal mob would have been coming here for forever and um, and I'm sure it's a pretty special place because it would have been shelter would have been water 
food would have been a gathering meeting place probably down the bottom of the waterfall um, you know you'd follow follow these big valleys and get to the I'd love to get down there but it's a bit of a mission um, but yeah it'd be pretty special to get down there I'm sure there'd be some rock art and and um, beautiful caves to uh, to sit by and hang this place is just insane I mean you know you to have the the ability to drive on top of these lookouts and these ranges uh, as well as you know have these incredibly scenic drives through the valleys um, it's like no other like is a is a really 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 unique and really special um, definitely it needs to be treasured and looked after um, because even around here and all these beautiful spots that I've, I've done the drone footage there's um, uh, there's mining exploration tracks uh, which means they have gone and done core samples underground to see if there's anything valuable there for them to start mining so basically all of these spots are still at the mercy of the mine sites and they've probably got uh, tidal leases on all of them um, which is very worrying like because <laughs> this is just nothing like this out here like it's insane Sane GSA, so this one's known as Calgan's Gorge, a uh, very popular one for people of Newman, it's not too much of a drive to get out of here so um, often people camp here on the weekends. From Newman to Calgan you actually have to drive down a river. really odd, <laughs> really, really odd. And the whole time you're like this. Bizarre. Really bizarre. <laughs> Apparently
definitely these rivers here that I've been kind of driving through and driving along and uh, never used to be like this and the issue is the local mine down the road, Hope Downs Mine, um, operates below the water table so they actually have to consistently um, flush out the water to be able to continue mining in that area. And this one looks a little bit deeper so I might just walk it first. Uh, it's not too deep actually. Probably only about knee deep at most. Should you go along there and around the corner? In that note, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this episode, guys. It's uh, I really appreciate you guys sharing and talking and and subscribing and commenting and all that because it really really does motivate me to get out more and, and explore these places um, you know I always get questions as to when I'm, when my next video is coming out but I'm not full-time YouTube I haven't made that transition and to be honest I probably never will there's there's really not much money in YouTube and um, and I just want to be able to I mean for me this is me documenting these experiences and these adventures for me um, and uh, and you know in doing so have the ability to share that with a wider community and um, and really highlight just how special I mean Australia is but WA alone and um, and yeah so all the subscribers all the comments and all that it helps those weird bloody al algorithms that no one understands um, and uh and hopefully you know shares uh shares my work a little bit more so thanks guys really appreciate it i literally got to pinch myself at this spot it's i'm just it's blowing my mind <laughs>